You carry one in your pocket and it could possibly power your next car. Lithium-ion batteries are currently the best way to power a greener future. South Africa lags behind much of the world when it comes to electric cars, but not for much longer. Demand for electric cars and their batteries is expected to skyrocket in the next few years. But there might not be enough of them to go around. Lithium has been a niche metal mined in only a few countries. Its price has increased by five times in just the past year. How do we transition into a more sustainable future? Galo Montmasson Claire is with Trade and Industry Policy Strategies and focuses on sustainable growth. Galo, thanks a lot for your time. Uh, is, is it a reality that the, uh, the supply of lithium might just not meet the demand? Good morning. Uh, it is uh, the frenzy at the moment, indeed. As, as you pointed out, um, the price of, of lithium has increased fivefold in the last year, and that's already off the back of an increase in production uh, by 400% over the last five years. Um, so certainly, we've seen we've seen increased demand, but um, it must be said that, of course, the producers, uh, primarily uh, Australia are also ramping up supply. Um, so at the moment, there is some tension because, of course, demand is growing faster than the supply. And that's why we see, we see you know, the prices going fast. Um, but as more and more mines come, come on stream in Australia, but also in South America, um, that should get hopefully, hopefully normalized uh, in the coming years. Now, the, uh, lithium is at the core of virtually uh, every kind of battery technology in commercial use at the moment. And in South Africa, we're still playing catch up. So where will we stand? Where does it leave us if we get to a situation where uh, the supply is throttled? Hmm. Yeah, I mean, we, we are you know, still playing a little, a little catch up when it comes to the electric vehicle market. Um, but what's interesting uh, as the market grows globally and in the region is that we do not have lithium, yes, in, in South Africa, but there's actually some very interesting deposits of lithium in Zimbabwe. Uh, and those are still uh, yet to be, to be fully uh, explored and, and exploited. Um, so we could really see some, some opportunity for regional development and regional integration of the, the lithium uh, ion battery value chain. Um, and what we mustn't forget is that we call lithium ion batteries because, yes, lithium is in all of the various chemistries of lithium ion batteries, but it's only 10% of the battery. There's a lot of the minerals. Uh, and we have a lot of those minerals in South Africa, such as manganese, you know, where we are a world leader. Uh, so we set to benefit in some cases, um, depending on which, which batteries get produced, uh, we could really benefit from, you know, the mining and the mineral beneficiation and hopefully uh, some more manufacturing uh, in the future uh, as the market develops. So that's potential opportunities for South Africa and, and for the region. If, if lithium is only a small percentage of the battery, why is it getting the most attention? Um, because that's the critical, that's a critical mineral. Um, there's no such thing as one lithium ion battery, actually. There's just many different types. Uh, and they all have different chemistries, use different minerals, but they all have one thing in common, and that's lithium. They all have lithium. Uh, so no lithium, no lithium ion batteries. You know? right. If you don't have manganese, you can do another battery with another chemistry, but you can't do without the lithium. All right, Galo, very quickly, uh, could we see a situation where lithium producers like Australia, maybe in the future Zimbabwe, start to manipulate supply a la OPEC in order to control the prices? Um, well, it is. It is a, a tight market with only a few producers. You know? um, as I said, it's mostly Australia that's dominating the market with Chile, Argentina, Brazil. Um, so, you know, we could see we could see some developments that, of course, those producers are, are trying to reap the maximum benefits. Um, but you know, again, uh, if you know, particularly uh, secondary producers like Zimbabwe uh, start to to develop their uh, their production, that could also benefit uh, the region. So I think at the moment uh, we see a bit of a war between supply and the demand and the different chemistries to try and reduce, I guess, uh, some of the dependency 
on the primary producers. Um, but as you pointed out, you know, demand is, is growing very quickly. Um, so at the moment, the suppliers are in a position of strength, definitely. Yeah.